back for another Vesta tutorial. Today we're going to be making a slab model of cadmium selenide and we're going to make it four layers thick. It's slightly tricky if you're not used to making these things because uh, uh, it's hard to define off the bat like what is one layer of cadmium selenide. Is it just a layer of cadmium, layer of selenide, or selenium, or a layer of both? So I hope to show you that today. Uh, so where I'm starting here is in the materials project database. Um, this is actually a really nice database if you're not familiar with it. So you like have your system here and you can toggle it and look at it. Uh, but what I really like is they give you uh, information that they compute using density functional theory, like right off the bat. So you can come down here and check out a band structure, density of states, uh, phonon dispersion. I, I don't think they had this stuff when I was starting grad school. I, I don't remember seeing it. I mean, maybe they did, but uh, anyways, this is really nice now because if you go and do calculations on the system, you have some sort of like reference to look at. So anyways, what I do is I start with my system here and because uh, the reason I'm showing you guys is because I get some questions like, you know, how do you get these unit cells? I, I typically get them from materials project, but there's also other, other places I get them as well. So I go to the Civ button here. I click conventional standard. This creates this little thing down here. I click on it and it opens up Vesta with our system. So we're going to make our slab in this direction of the blue arrow, this what I'll call C, uh, C dimension here. And so the question is like, how do we actually get a, a layer of cadmium selenide? So the first thing I like to do is actually delete the bonds because these sort of bonds on the outside make it difficult for me to comprehend what is and is not in my system. So if you delete these and press apply, you can actually see what atoms are being considered in your system. So here you only have four atoms. And if you move up, uh, no, this doesn't move up exactly. If you scroll up in here, you can actually see there should only be four atoms. Okay. So now what I'm going to do, I'll recenter on A. When I click A, by the way, it has A pointing at the screen. Uh, norm it has A normal to the screen. If I do the same with B, you can see B is now normal to the screen. So what I'm going to do now after clicking on A is I'll go to edit, edit data, unit cell. And I'm going to go to transform. And I'm just going to add, uh, make this a four in the C dimension. So this is A, B, C. I'll select OK. Here when you get this first prompt, uh, it's just letting you know that this new matrix is changing the volume of the unit cell, obviously. So select yes. And then search atoms in the new unit cell and add them as new sites. Select yes. And then select apply. Okay. Select okay. So now you can see we have all of these new sites added down here. Okay. So now we have 16 atoms. All right. So what is a layer of cadmium selenide? Well, a layer of cadmium selenide contains a single formula unit. So here you could see cadmium selenide. The formula unit is one cadmium and one selenium. So this right here where my cursor is would be a single layer. So since we want four layers in this C dimension, uh, we're just going to drag and delete uh, all but four layers. So you, yeah, so you can see here we have one, two, three, four. So this is four layers of cadmium selenide in our system. So I'll recenter on A. So now we have to do two things. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and save this as a VASP file. So I'll go to File, Export Data. This is going to save the unit cell and all of the atoms that were in here after the transformation in a VASP file. So I'll go ahead and uh, come here. Uh, here I'm just going to actually save this, the file type, as a VASP. So I'll go ahead and do Save. And I save in Cartesian coordinates. Now, there are a lot of cases where you should, I'd say, rule of thumb, save in for fractional coordinates if you don't know what to save in. But for this particular case, we're going to save in Cartesian coordinates and select OK. Then what I'm also going to do is go to File, Export Data. And I am going to export the data as an XYZ file. Uh, and here I'm just going to call it CDSE for layer. So CDSE4 layer, save it as an XYZ. And when you have this prompt, do you want to save hidden atoms too? Select no. Okay, so let's go into our text editor. Here I use uh, PyCharm. And I'm going to open up our two files. So what I do now is I go ahead and take this 
uh, these coordinates and I post, I paste them back into our, our standard unit cell file. So this is gonna change the unit cell file. So you might wanna go ahead and change the name of this file afterwards. We, we can do that in a second. Um, I'm then going to delete these atoms, uh, the atom titles. So we had four cadmium followed by four selenium. And then in this C dimension, I'm gonna add uh, 15 angstroms of vacuum. Okay, so 10, uh, five. So there's already some vacuum already. So I'm just adding roughly 15 more. And I'm just gonna, this first line of the file is just the name. So uh, it, it's ignored. So you can do like cadmium selenide four layer. Uh, and then what I'm gonna do is just actually uh, rename this file. I'll rename it uh, cadmium selenide uh, four layer. And then I'm going to save it. Okay, so let's go back into uh, Vesta now. And let's go ahead and uh, open that. And you can see now we have our four layer system. Now, uh, if we go ahead and expand this, let's expand it uh, a couple, let's expand it negative two in the X, three in the positive X like this. Okay, and then select apply. You can see we have our, our basically our surface here. Now, uh, you can see that depending that this, this side is uh, terminated by cadmium and likewise this side is terminated by uh, let me do that again is terminated by selenium so it does seem so it, there may be some sort of I don't know anisotropic things going on in here uh, but I don't think it'll be a big problem this is something maybe you want to look into. I'm not too, too familiar with this system, to be honest, but uh, I was asked by one of the viewers how I would go about making this system, and uh, I think this is how I would do it, at least starting out. So yeah, this is uh, your four layers of cadmium selenide, and this is the slab. Uh, it's possible this will reconstruct in some way. Uh, you, you may need to like take care of some type of, like place a hydrogen atom here, uh, not, like I said, I'm not too, too familiar with this system, but this is uh, definitely a four, four layers of this system. Yeah, anyways, uh, let's go ahead and expand it for the thumbnail again, just so you can remake that for that photo. Uh, let's do orthographic view. Is that orthographic? I forget the name of this thing. Standard orientation. Okay, just standard orientation. Okay, yeah, so there's your four layers cadmium selenide. Uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Take care. Bye.